everybody, Glenn here, and I've got my deep dive of the Loot Crate for you today. This is October's Loot Crate. It is the mythical-themed box. Um, unlike most boxes this month, this is not an especially Halloween or horror-oriented theme. Um, as mythical, it kind of runs the gamut. We're going to talk about that later when we go over scores. But this is the Loot Crate for this month. I unbox this, as always, on my Twitch stream. So if you want to see these unboxings when I first look at the items and get my initial first impressions, definitely head over to Twitch. Make sure you have an account um, uh, and uh, uh, follow my channel so you can see when I'm going to actually unbox these. So, Loot Crate, deep dive today. Uh, we'll start with the shirt. This is a one, two, three, four, five item box. And the shirt is a Ghostbuster shirt. And you can see it's, you know, from their loot wear line. So they have their own line of shirts, as a couple of box companies do. Um, and this is Ghostbusters themed, fully licensed. You see the Ghostbusters logo on the front. And it's kind of got an 80s vibe to it, uh, an 80s neon um, backdrop. Now, it's cool enough as far as the design goes, but my initial reaction was, is, or was, is, right? My initial reaction was that Ghostbusters is 80s. Why do you need to 80s it up? You know, it's just, uh, it's a little much, right? Ghostbusters is already 80s. So to eight, you know, to get it all '80s fancy with it, it's okay, it's fine. Um, it's just a little bit much for me. So decent design, you know. As always, 15 bucks for a shirt is what I'm going to value that as. But you know, not too not too thrilled with it. I think they kind of overdid the '80s part of it a little bit. All right, we've got a couple of uh, scene figures this time around. The first one comes in this little box and it is Thor versus Loki and I think they call it Asgard to Midgard and this is made by see the company here we've got uh, Fat Mojo Loot Crate exclusive made for Loot Crate and I already took it out it's one of those figures that you kinda have to one of those things that you kinda have to build and there it is right there um, it just, it, it's pretty easy to build. It's just the torsos and the heads, and then you've got the little throne here. So, um, it's Thor battling Loki. It looks pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm not sure what that is coming up. Uh, it looks like water to me, but, you know, or ice. Thor not exactly known for ice. He's more of the thunder god, but, you know, whatever. Um, the thing, um... It's a cool little scene. I like it. It it makes it'll make for good display, but um, you kind of have to display it sideways like that or whatever to see them both. My thing is it's a little bit fragile. Every time I move it too much, Loki's head pops off or Thor falls off of the throne. Um, so it's cool enough. It's just a little bit fragile, and um, but cool enough for a little tiny figure there. Um, as far as the value, this is running about 7 bucks on uh, eBay right now. So about $7 for that little set coming out of the Loot Crate box. So Thor versus Loki. Then we've got another little diorama type thing. And here's the box that came in. It's a Stranger's thing, or Stranger Things. Um, so we've got Eleven versus the Demogorgon. And the way it's set up here is different than the way it's actually set up in the diorama. You've got this little plastic diorama. You see there's Eleven. There's the Demogorgon. So she's battling him in the school uh, classroom, right? Um, and there it is a little bit more up close. My problem with this little set is... If you have it facing this way when you're displaying so you can see the Gorgon really well, you're only seeing the back of Eleven's head, uh, which isn't great for display purposes. Um, if you want to see Eleven, then you're not seeing the Demogorgon. You're seeing this back plate of the plastic. Okay, well, so let's do it side to side. You're not seeing either one of them really well. So 
you know, it's a cool enough scene, but the display wise, it doesn't, it's not going to display well. Um, and it's got limited, limited uses otherwise. So if you, again, you're displaying it like that, you're not seeing enough, you know, you can't see them both. Now, the other thing you could do is kind of like it's on the box, so you can turn her around so you can see both of them. But that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? She's not battling him if she's facing away. So, you know, uh, the concept is good. The execution leaves a lot to be desired if you want to display this. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, for on eBay, this is going for about twelve bucks. So this is about a twelve dollar item, which is pretty darn good um, off of eBay. So getting this for twelve bucks right now. Again, it's 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 rendered well, and the figures look the figures that are on it look good. It's just execution wise, I don't think it works out too well. All right, and then we've got a bookmark. This is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer bookmark. It's a pointy bookmark, kind of looks like a steak, right? Um, which is the idea. So pretty cool. It's a you know little wooden bookmark. It's going for about five bucks on eBay right now. And again, you've got the typical Loot Crate exclusive on the back there. So there is the bookmark. All right, and lastly, we've got the typical Loot Pin. I guess I could take it out of the plastic now. Let's display it a little bit easier. So we've got the loot pins. This is mythical, October 2017. As always, you know, you've got lootcrate.com slash pins. You can check it out. This one is kind of a vampire looking dude. Cool enough. Pretty decent, uh, decent pin. I like the loot crate pins usually. This one, not my favorite, but not bad either. And online right now on eBay, it's going for about four bucks. It's about four dollars there. So there's your items. One, two, three, four items plus a pin, so I guess you could say five. Um, uh, total value of about $43. So $43, what's the price of Loot Crate? Loot Crate is $21.99 monthly with shipping. Again, you can get it for less if you get the six-month subscription or a year subscription. So, But I always go by monthly because that's the way I get it. So $21.99 with shipping. So that puts the value individually of these items at $1.95 times the value of what I paid for it. So almost two times. So um, as far as a score with value, it's getting a B plus. It's not quite to two times, but it's very, very close. Um, so decent value for what things are going right now. Again, keep in mind that that's going to fluctuate depending on the availability of these items in the loot vault later. Um, if you can get them later, you're not going to pay a premium form right now, but these are what they're going for right now. Um, so a B plus for value. Rest of scores, let's go over. Um, fun factor. I gave the fun factor a C. There's not really a whole lot here moving forward as far as, oh yeah, I got that in a loot crate, I still use it. You know, you've got a practical item in the bookmark, um, which is fine, but everything else is just kind of either sit on the shelf items. Um, or the typical t-shirt. So I gave the fun factor a seed. There's not a whole lot there that uh, makes me go, oh, this is cool, that's fun, let's play with it. Um, right? The theme. The theme was mythical this time around. I gave the theme a C. The reason is, not because the, I, any of the items were necessarily bad, but the theme was way too ambiguous in general. Right? They really took the easy way out with this theme. Mythical. Well, that could mean anything. Now, think about the items. We've got a Stranger Things item. We've got a Marvel Thor item. We've got a Ghostbusters item, and we've got a Buffy item. Those are very mismatched items in any other theme. But you make that theme mythical, it's so wide that you can include a lot more things in that theme. And I think that's kind of the cheap, easy road to go with a theme. When you make it so broad that you could throw almost anything into it and say, yeah, that's mythical, right? Thor, yeah, mythical. Stranger Things, okay, mythical. You know, it's too ambiguous of a theme, too broad. So it made the items they put in it very mismatched because they don't relate to each other at all. That such a broad theme, um, it, they need to narrow it down a little bit, make the theme a little more specific so that the items related to each other a little bit better. Very mismatched items, so I gave them a C. 
Uh, the curation I gave a B minus, and the reason is, while the items themselves were fine as what they picked out, you kind of had two of the same items or similar items. You've got two kind of little scene items with two characters a piece. They're kind of they're very similar, right? To have in the same box. So that brought them down with curation a little bit. The items themselves are fine that they picked, but the fact that it had two similar items out of the five is kind of odd there. Uh, execution, I gave them a B. And the reason I gave them a B um, is, again, tough item to display. How am I going to display this? Do I want to see the back of it? Do I want to see the Demogorgon better and just see the back of her head? Right? Um, this one, until I got it snapped together real good, was kind of fragile and falling apart. But this one is the more fragile, so it kind of, the heads don't, oop, I almost popped Loki's head off just by doing that. So, um, the couple items are a little bit fragile. Stranger Things item is tough to display. So the execution was good, but not great, so I gave them a B. Uh, shipping, as always, I gave them an A. Solid box, and I did forget to mention the box. As always with Loot Crate, the box turns inside out, and you can create something with it. In this case, it's Mjolnir. So you can create Thor's hammer by using the box and then punching out the handle here. Um, I obviously didn't do it this time, but um, it's a clever, clever thing to do with the box, and that's kind of why it's shaped this way. So that's cool. Um, again, it's solid. It's packed well. So overall, I gave this box a B minus. Um, little disappointed with Loot Crate this this time around, and I think a lot of it has to do with the theme and the fact that they could have done a very cool Halloween box. They could have done a very cool horror box. Um, they could have done a Stranger Things box that made a theme out of it, um, but it's very disjointed, and that mythical theme just, it's too wide, it's too broad, um, and it created a situation where they have a, just a bunch of random items that have a very tenuous link to each other, very very slight link to each other. So what did you think of Loot Crate this month? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion on this stuff. Um, I had a great chat while I was uh, unboxing this on Twitch, so I had a lot of different opinions on it, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. Uh, as always, hit up my social media off to the side and Twitch and Patreon and all that. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of boxes sitting in my room ready to be unboxed and reviewed. So uh, expect a lot of that. Also, I'll be doing my New York Comic Con pop review in probably two, three, maybe even four parts. That's coming up very shortly because I've got a lot of those to go over. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.